Joining me now, Carl Rove, former deputy chief of staff to President George Bush and American Crossroads, co-founder and advisor and Fox News contributor. Carl, good to have you here. You know, Thanks. you know, people say to me, why doesn't someone ask President Biden what he plans to do to, to, to stop this? What does he plan to do about this problem? What do you think he would say? I think his policy is to ignore it. His uh, Homeland Security Secretary went out and said the border's secure. Let's take a look at this, Martha. Think about this. Hard to get our hands around this. 2020, fiscal year 2020, that ended the end of September of 2020. There were 458,000 encounters at the border. That's how many people were taken into custody. 2021, first year that Biden was in office, jumps to a million three. 2022 goes to nearly a million, uh, 2.4 million. That, that is a 519 percent increase in just a few short years. And is it continuing? Absolutely it's continuing. Take a look at what happened in October. October of 2020, there were 45,000 people apprehended at the border. 2021, 72,000. 2023, 165,000. October of this year, this fiscal year, 230,678. That's also a 500% increase. That's about 7,000 people a day, over 75, close to 7,500 people a day being apprehended at the border. And October is not the biggest uh, month of the year for transit. Those are yet to come. So uh, the administration has no effective policy on the border. To, to think about it, the in, amount of encounters has increased by 500 percent. That probably means the number of getaways is similar. Those are the people who don't get apprehended at the border, who make their way into the country, don't surrender to CBP, are not processed. We don't know who they are. We don't know where they came from. We don't know their name. That probably has increased as well, 500 percent. I mean, it, just the complete lack of, of policy, uh, of not having a border, right. is, a, is a scary thing. It's not, a, a country has borders. We all know if you travel to a country anywhere else in the world, you can't get in unless you show your documentation yeah. or how long you're going to stay or what's your purpose for being there. We have, it, it's just unbelievable, the millions of people who have crossed the border since this president took office. And, and I think for so many people, they just can't understand why there isn't more attention to this. This is from Chief Paul Raul Ortiz of the U.S. Border Patrol chief. And he, he points out 97 million in narcotics in the past 48 right. hours. Uh, firearms, gang members, sex offenders, two murderers, uh, one injury to a child, another weekend of hard work by our agents, Carl. Yeah, look, I have a hunting lease in South Texas, about 90 miles north of the border, and the Border Patrol has a checkpoint north of us. Uh, we're in a county that has 400 people in it, just uh, less than 500 people, and it's the size of Rhode Island. So there's a lot of land and not too many people. And the Border Patrol tells us if you see somebody and they're dressed like a, 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 a farm worker, call us. If you see somebody dressed in black, call us immediately and stay away from them because these are drug co are, are, are in all likelihood drug cartel members who are either bringing drugs north or carrying money and weapons south and they're very dangerous people. I'm a strong proponent, as you know, of, of immigration. I believe it is important for our country, but you cannot have an immigration program unless you control the borders so you know who's coming in and can limit who's coming in and make it happen in a regular format. And this is an utter unmitigated disaster that the administration has turned a blind eye to mm. since the moment that they took the oath of office. Well, the cartels just must think this is, you know, kind of They're laughing kind of at funny, us. Right? They're laughing at us. <laughs> I mean, boy, they're letting us run our business across the American border all day long, and they're and, not and you stopping you, us. I mean, they must just, it's like, it's like a Netflix special, you know, but it's not. Yeah. It's real. Martha, <laughs> you, know what they, you know what they do? They shoot off tracer rounds whenever they get dr uh. drug runners across the border successfully so they can rub the noses of American law enforcement in the mud. Wow. It's really despicable. Uh, Carl, thank you very much. Always good to see you, you sir. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.